Hi there, this is Tom Meeks of the Cubify Fans blog, and I'm finally getting around to doing a tutorial on designing the cutter pattern that you will be using to make threads in a 0.05 thread pitch uh, situation. And that's the thread we're going to be using when we make our bolt. So this is just the part that designs the cutter that we're going to be using with the helix to make the thread. Before I do, let me show you what I've done with my grid size. Each of these individual grids here are 0.01 inches. That's pretty small. I've made my major grid the same as my thread pitch. That is, the uh, my snap size is a 0.05. So a line from here to there uh, is exactly what I need for my thread pitch. Now, the best thing to use is we've got to use a triangle to, as our pattern, but the best way to do that is to use lines instead of a uh, an actual triangle. There's a reasons for that. I won't go into those reasons, but let's just start by making some lines here. We'll start here, go to here. We have one line now. I'm going to make a uh, control C, control V, and I'm going to go over here to transform. Let me click on that line and I'm going to say rotate. Let me pick my center of rotation right on the end and I'll put 60 degrees. Okay, now we have two lines. Well, having done that, I'm now going to turn off my grid snap and leave only my object snap and I'm going to make a line from the bottom of that one line to the other. Now we have our triangle and that triangle is exactly what we need for our thread pitch. I'm going to say join. We join those lines to make a triangle. Now we need three other triangles to help in our, these are reference triangles to help us in our design of this cutting. So I'm going to go control C, control V. Uh, that's going to give us another copy of this, but I'm going to now transform that. And I'm going to, it says hit the bounding box. I click click on the center there, and I'm going to say 0.25. I want to make it one, one quarter of the size of the big box, or the big thing. And I'll drag it over here and put it in the center. There. Now we have two, we have two triangles. We need two more. Control C, Control V. I'll just drag this way so you can see it. I'm going to go to scale, pick my bounding box, and I'm going to say 0.25 five because we want that to be half we want this to be half of that this triangle so we'll drag that up into this corner and control c control v and that'll make our final one that we'll drag down here now we have all four of the triangles that we need i'm now going to make a line across here and here you'll see why in a second because i'm now going to make an arc that arc is going to be from the midpoint of this line, along this line, to the midpoint along this line. If I didn't have this line here, I wouldn't see that midpoint. So let me start my arc here. I'll come over and see I get that line right there. Come around and right there. Now, these are the shapes that we need to make our objects. And I'm going to now color these red, and I'm going to name it. Okay, and this is this these objects are going to be uh, named um, pattern. Okay, all of those are going to be called. That's our pattern. I'm going to take this red right here, Control C, Control V, that arc, and I'm going to make it. Uh, let me click off and click back on to make sure I have that. And now, now we have this black arc. That's the only thing out of this group that we're going to be using in our actual cutting head because now we're going to use the pattern to trace our cutter. I go to polylines, start at the end, go up to the tip, go to the center line here, go down to the center of that little midpoint there of that small triangle, across, and then down. That comprises, and then I say done, this comprises hit uh, my shift there and and I'm going to say join edit join now I'm going to turn off our pattern 
and you're going to see that this is the shape that we needed for our cutting pattern. There's one other thing we need to do. Go from this corner right here down to here. And then I'm going to, we say done. Let me get a single line here. And I'm going to now make a line on the midpoint here to there. Now this is just a reference line and this is just a reference line. But the intersection of those two lines is where we're going to join this cutting tool to our uh, helix to make the thread. And that's all there is to making a cutting pattern. We're finished with the cutting pattern. In the next tutorial, we'll actually make the thread. I hope you enjoyed this.